These are the Sunday recommendations for my free email list for November the 7th, 2021. This week's blog post is the History of Outdoor Sculpture in New York City, Part 2. This week we're doing the first equestrian sculpture in New York City since the one of King George III was pulled down in 1776. Also a military memorial that is more architecture than sculpture, and the first in a long series of memorials by immigrants to heroes of the countries of their birth. Second recommendation. Saban Howard, the National World War I Memorial, also known as A Soldier's Journey. It will probably be dedicated in 2024. At long last, a figurative memorial is being created for Washington, D.C. that will honor Americans who served and those who died in World War I. The story on the relief runs left to right. First, a father is handed his helmet by his young daughter, then he faces battle and being wounded, and finally he returns home and hands the helmet back to his daughter. Howard, the sculptor, says, quote, It's about the soldiers who had to go to leave their comfortable homes and go to a hellish place where the worst of the worst atrocities were seen. That's the hero's journey in itself. Those soldiers had to do something heroic. End of quote. I've given you a link to Howard's website with more quotes by him. Howard has been working on this piece since 2019. He began by having actors move through scenes and capturing the motion in photos. From those many, many photos, he chose figures and poses that he wanted to incorporate into each section of of the relief. Once his six-foot-long maquette, that's a working model, was approved, he brought each actor back to hold a pose while he or she was photographed by 160 digital cameras. From those digital photos, 3D images were created in polyurethane. The polyurethane versions formed the armatures for the sculptures, on which Howard added clay so that he could do the surface detail work. The work took 15 months to complete this way. It would have taken six years using traditional methods, which means starting with a wire armature and building the clay up from that. Howard's clay models have just been shipped to the foundry, and the finished bronze is scheduled to be unveiled in 2020 at Pershing Square in D.C. Third recommendation, Marjorie Allingham, Black Plumes, 1940. Three great mystery writers flourished between the world wars, Agatha Christie, Marjorie Allingham, and Niall Marsh. Black Plumes is a cozy British mystery with a touch of romance and a ton of period charm. I've read all of Allingham's novels several times over the past decades. They hold up very well. If you're addicted to Vedi British mysteries, you'll probably enjoy Allingham's essay, Mystery Writer in a Box, which describes how she began writing mysteries and the context of the mystery novel at that time. That essay is bundled with the short story collection, The Return of Mr. Campion. Campion is Allingham's usual hero. He's a bit reminiscent of Lord Peter, in the Dorothy Sayers mysteries, but Campion doesn't make an appearance in Black Plumes. The fourth recommendation this week is a Spanish popular song from 2020, which I like because it makes me slow down and pay attention to word order and word choice and sounds in a way that I don't when I'm listening to pop music in English. I'm giving you the lyrics in Spanish and my translation into English. This sort of thing usually turns up in supporters' emails just because then I don't have to worry so much about copyright issues. It goes out to far fewer people. DianeDurantyWriter.com has hundreds of posts on sculpture, painting, architecture, and my other obsessions. To join the free Sunday Recommendations email list, visit the URL that's on the screen or email me. And you can say, well done, Diane or support my work and receive rewards by means of the tip jar on dianderintiwriter.com. As always, thank you for listening.